Alright, we got Pokemon Trainer versus Bowser. Let's let's do this. So Mile, of course, has been playing a lot of characters lately. It's really cool to see. He started out as a Yoshi main, but yeah, I, I'm I'm not, not. here's the thing. Ga like day two of this game, I was like, Yoshi's overrated. <laughs> and people laughed at me then. And I think that all the Yoshis are starting to be forced to agree with that. Uh, that's one of the reasons why Mile has been messing around with other characters, and I've seen this Bowser do some really great things. Yeah, I was, I was not expecting to see Bowser, I'll be quite honest. I haven't seen his Bowser yet, so I'm interested to see how this goes. Um, right now, punishing that forward tilt with a grab. Ooh, forward <laughs> smash, not that quite taking the stock. That didn't Wow. Nice D either. Oh my but, god, uh, that was such a good up B. So full. <laughs> Going way down there for that edge guard. Neutral can be such a good tool for that. Ooh, oh, but that's side, side B. B. That's not going to kill him not just yet. But he's now at 98. He's at a, Okay, now they're both at death percent. Nice and Noku is Ooh. basically locked into Charizard. Like, if he goes any other character. Oh! oh! Okay, that is. I Honestly, I feel like if you're Noku, you take that trade. Well, uh, Noku might have had something to do with that. I mean, both characters, both players have input influence on that. They do, and I think. So that I think he knew that no, he, he made definitely, dead, yeah. So he probably took him off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was probably dead. He might have survived barely. Yeah. But uh, I think at that point you're just like, I don't really want to. You don't want to test it. You just like let's yeah, just both die. Yeah, you, you have the chance to do that. And now we're in a situation where Squirtle is able to do 98 percent in the blink of an Ooh. eye before we could finish our. Topic of conversation, <laughs> and he's already going to the Ivy Short, which I definitely agree with. Ivy sure. Short, this percent can still, even though they nerfed his up B, even though they nerfed his down air, he can still close still out nasty. super yeah, early yeah. stocks. Oh, trying to go for that down air. Nice another. commander, make grab right there. Back throw might do it. Not quite. Oh, Bowser's, Bowser's so a big. heavy boy. He goes way Ooh, behind. I'm missing the tech. That wasn't attackable, was it? Nah, I don't think that was attackable. Yeah. Charizard, the weak hit of Charizard Nair is not that strong. Yeah. So especially Bowser at 150%. I don't think that. I think he could have tech that if he was ready for it, but who would be ready for that? Oh, man. He got to switch off Squirtle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You saw how we almost died at 9. And honestly, Ivysaur, honestly, with, is kind of, with Bowser is incompetent, too. Um, uh, I think he, Ivysaur's a lot harder to hit. Like, I, well, I yeah, like you I, have I, the spacing. Um, you know, you can zone him away. Um, okay, good job getting actually hit. And I think maybe Charizard switch is in order. Yeah, he's at that percent where... Especially the side beat, he might be able to live another one just barely. Ooh, oh, forward tilt will do the trick. So he has a bit of a lead here, but honestly, I feel like it's like if you think about it, that was a sort of a last stop situation right there. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, I'm talking about stock two, and he started off doing 90% with Squirtle, like out of the gate. So at <laughs> this is still very well within reason, Ooh, but not when I will do the trick. Yeah. yeah, especially Bowser with Rage is super scary. I think they did a really good job of making Bowser. I mean, I feel like he in this game he's maybe a little too fast. If you're talking about <laughs> his, how he's he should. Game. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could see that. I could see that. Um, but yeah, honestly, it, it is kind of nice because I feel like in past Smash games, heavies were always kind of like in competitive Smash, kind of like. Like, oh, they suck, kind of. So like, it is kind of nice to see, like, heavies get some love this game. Um, but yeah, Bowser is definitely best. Okay, yeah, and we are seeing the Yoshi switch, so I might be able to offer a little bit more insight into this as I hypothetically main this character, even though I was just kind of stepping away from him. As I think Mile might also be thinking about doing, but it's still his best character, the tried and true, and that's why we're seeing him here. One thing about Yoshi, I think that Yoshi has maybe one of, if not the best disadvantage states in the game. It's crazy. Yes. Like, not only is his disadvantage like he gets out of fat situations pretty easily, but he turns them around. Like, if somebody's trying to ledge trap or edge guard, he throws an egg, it's like, oh, you got hit by that egg? Well, I'm coming up on stage for a forward air, yeah, up air, yeah. neutral air, back air. Freaking everything is, if you're not careful when you're the one who's supposed to be edge guarding him. There's so many great options. Oh, what a nice spot dodge. Yeah, that back Ooh. air is so good for me. Nice coverage right there. As I said, I, I saw that obviously the uh, the combo was going to connect, so he went for that uh, the egg. 
the to finish that off. Oh, the combo. Ooh. you saw the up smash come out. That was frames away from being the end of Mayo, but crazy. down B comes out. I think it still comes out frame seven. Oh wow, that is a fast move. That is faster than I think every smash attack in the game. So there you have it, and an up air from Ivy sort of finished it. We now have. Two stocks apiece, pretty much just an even game. Yeah, definitely. Oh. All right, these platforms on PS2 can be really good for Yoshi. For sure. He, I just see the way he can, uh... Oh, it's good for both of these characters, the way that you can, uh... Follow... Combos and send the combos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those platforms. Nice up air there. Up air. Oh, okay, Ooh. great, great switch. switch. But Mayo was up, kind of anticipating it. And I will say, so, Noku's Charizard is really good, but this situation is just such a tricky one to beat. I mean, 147. He has ways to end stock super early normally, but Yoshi, deceptively heavy character. So he's not just gonna learn uh, win from like really cheeky back. Ends. Yeah. Yoshi is not gonna die from like, a, I don't, I think Yoshi is definitely back air heavier on than he appears. Course. Oh yeah, he is like the same weight as Captain Falcon. Down B taking that stock. I'm gonna be seeing some cute little platform movement from a mile in between these stocks. Oh, I feel like people will show off Ooh. really cool movement and then they never do it in the actual e e <laughs> With the exception of Max Tectum, he actually just some really cool platform movement. Uh, in his sense. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, that's a forward air. air. Oh my god, that was a zero to death, I think. Did he take it? Did he take a hit? I don't think he did. I don't think he did either. Is that zero to death? I might have been. I oh, he doesn't even know. He's just like he's in the zone. Ah, <laughs> yeah. uh, like, you think I keep track of every zero to death? I <laughs> <laughs> well, you just you, you deserve, you're focused on like you know what's going on, you know the advantage state, uh, what your players, what they might be doing, and you know. But uh, yeah, uh, that was that was nasty. Oh that's, yeah, that and I think nasty. that that's since also uh, for for uh, for Noku, he won that game one pretty cause like pretty solidly, but now the time has shifted. He has to really work and really adapt to this Yoshi. Yeah, because that was pretty convincing for Mile in that last game. Did some amazing stuff. There were a lot of close moments there where like if uh, Noku had taken the stock first. Definitely, like, probably would have the entire game would have gone differently. But Milo has been so consistent at killing, and he's been so good at just damage output with this Yoshi. Look at this, 106 percent already, and he's still trying to ledge. Nice, God, this is a uh, ledge. Oh, wow, and a parry. His ledge game is, is awesome. Man, I don't understand how people ledge trap in this game. In any game, I'm so bad at ledge trapping, and these guys just make it look so easy. That parry to four smash was fantastic, and now he's starting off his next stock. It seems just as strong as the God. first one. 22%, 36, and it just keeps growing. I feel like I feel like Goku may have taken him to FD to, to avoid those platform combos, but even without those platforms right now, Mile is putting him to work. Okay, this could be big. A back throw. He's off stage. Going oh. for that pair. Both of those moves, I feel like, were pixels away from uh, just being the death of somebody. Ooh, but that up smash. Oh, the up B will do it. Yeah, the super armor on that move, making it a surprisingly good option in a lot of situations. Okay, I like the switch, but now he's Ivysaur, and Ivysaur is good at zero, but he doesn't have that same, like, crazy stuff that Squirtle can do. Yes. And on top of that, if he gets hit right now, Ivysaur's disadvantage, by far the worst of the three Pokemon. Yes, but I feel like it's harder to get into disadvantage. It's easier to keep Yoshi away as I Ivysaur. Um, oh, yeah, oh, spacing. Ooh, ooh. Ah, oh, he read that air dodge, but Yoshi's drift is so good. And Mile able to mix up where he's... He, like, Yoshi ooh, turns a neutral air dodge really into a directional air dodge. With his air, purely with his air dodge. Ooh, ooh the oh, Yeah, he definitely did not want the... He got the lock. That second jab might be really bad for him. He has this lead, but there is there's so many ways Ooh. that he could actually lose the stock first. It's 
It's not going to take much for Treasure to get this kill. <laughs> oh, Ooh. that's might be it. Gets forward thrown. It's not quite enough yet, but this is that really big edge guard opportunity. Once again, gets back to stage with an air dodge. And Noku was prepared for both of them, but both times he was unable to actually find the kill from it. Oh, you cannot just parry that move once. There are three hits that and each one of them just leads into that lethal hit at the end. Right, forward throw. Clean off stage. I like that call. He doesn't want to stale any of his kill throws. Okay, nice grab. He's getting extra damage. A trade that maybe not the greatest, but if you're mild, it's all right. Forward there does a decent chunk of damage. So, oh, he's dead. Is that? Yeah. Oh, unfortunate that for Noku. He definitely wanted to snap to the legs, but just yeah, that. That, uh, was that, what was that, what tilt was that by Yoshi? That was down smash. Down smash, down smash, wow, okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, hey, shy guy, what's she doing in the chat? What are you doing in the chat not here? <laughs> I miss you, Pokemon but... trainer. Sometimes I, uh, sometimes I look at Noku and I think that he's going to do a cool thing because I mistake him for you. <laughs> Shots fired to Noku. No, right. Noku does some really cool stuff. Noku and running it back to FD. Interesting. Now, I will say, so of course there was the Pokemon trainer called uh, Ivy Sword, because I actually think that it was overall a buff to Pokemon trainer. Um, but there was the Ivy Sword nerf, which for Noku really kind of gave him a problem, because he he was really good at getting those ridiculously early kills yes. with, uh, uh, with the Uppy. With the, oh, and that's just a footstool! And that was no accident! Completely calculated, completely prepared. Beautiful job from Noku. That, that is huge. awesome. I can't believe I just got hyped for Yoshi getting food. <laughs> oh, it's Spike! I'm hyped! Jeez. He even game. You know, I thought and we're not even a minute in, right? Oh, Two stock. Yeah. Both stocks gone. Ooh. Ooh trapped at the edge here. How is he gonna get out? It feels like he hasn't been able to get those really substantial moves, the ones that give him enough positioning that he can really rack on percent. Instead, he'll get like a little nick here, but then... Oh, oh my the god, oh, what a of the parry! BPLP. Ooh. And he's forced to go to Charizard now. And I think he's probably pretty much going to stay Charizard at this point, which is... Ooh, he never got some Flare Blitz. And despite the crazy early footstool kill, this game is looking like it's all mile. Ooh, the Albi will do the trick right there. I uh, look at Noku's expression. He's not happy about that. He really wanted to parry. That could have been huge for him, and instead, he this is not. This is not good. This is not good. He's looking for the up B. Nice positioning from Mile. Doesn't give it to him. But now he's at 129 percent. He's been able to. He's been able to like get that really nice lead, but if he isn't able to get tons of damage right now. Then. That much. Okay. A, a beautiful up smash out of shield. I feel like that's happened. Both these players are being aggressive when coming back on stage, and both of them are being punished for it. You know, like we've seen the parries, we've seen all these crazy uh, things that Mile has been doing, and then at the same time, just a clean up smash out of shield. So I'm wondering if these players are. Oh my God! Jab down B, almost working to the death. This is so weird. <laughs> that was really smart forward air from uh, Noku to uh, interrupt. Well, probably was going to be a left jump up there. Miss eight to interrupt that tether, but yeah, there will the do set. the trick, closing off the set three one mile. And that was a three zero as soon as he's DLC. Sure. And I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even call that.